Good morning, everyone. It's Mrs. Myers here. I hope you've had a wonderful week. And we're going to end our week this week with yoga. And in honor of Earth Day, which is next week on April 22nd, we're going to do some yoga poses that are reflective of the water cycle. So I have this piece of paper here before we start so I can tell you a little bit about the water cycle. We have water down below in our oceans, our ponds, and our streams. And the water gets evaporated by the sunshine. Do you see it right there? And then the water vapor condenses in the clouds, which are above us in our beautiful blue sky. And then once they get really heavy, it starts to rain and that's called precipitation. And then it goes back into our oceans, ponds and streams to collect again. And the cycle starts all over again with evaporation, condensation, precipitation, which is the rain, and collection again. So today we're gonna we're going to do some poses that reflect this water cycle. But the first thing I want to do, what we always do when we're in yoga, is we invite the bell. So I want everyone to come and sit crisscross applesauce like Mrs. Myers. I want you to practice breathing deeply and I'm going to invite the bell by tapping it just once today. And when you can't hear the bell anymore, I want you to raise your hand. I want you to raise your hand when you can't hear the bell anymore. So let's begin. Everyone close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale it out. Let's try that again. You ready? I'm going to invite the bell now. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. I can't hear the bell anymore. So let's begin. The first thing I want everyone to do is close your eyes and think about your breath. Pretend you have a flower right in front of you. Put your finger up. Take a deep breath in and blow the flower out. Take another deep breath in and blow the petals of the flower. Let's keep doing that and think about your breath as it goes in and as you gently blow the petals of the flower. I'm sitting outside and you may be able to hear some birds and listen to the sounds of nature around me. Take a deep breath in and let's blow the petals. Okay, one more time. Deep breath in, blow your petals. Great job, but now we have to warm up a little bit. So let's everyone stand straight up on their feet. Can you see me? Good. All right, I want everyone to put your feet firmly in the earth. And I want everyone to take a deep breath in and reach way up to the sky, way, way, way up. I want you to grab that sunshine with this hand Grab that sunshine with the other hand. And then I want to have you take the sunshine and rub it here on your head and maybe here on your belly. And let's rub a little bit on our knees and let's go all the way down to our toes. If you can reach them, go ahead. Take a deep breath in. Go up to your knees. Exhale down. Go down to your toes. 
Now I want you to use your yoga hands, which are your fingers spread out wide, put them down on the ground, step one foot back, step the other foot back, and squeeze your bum bum, and hold a plank there. Good job, everybody. You're doing a terrific job. If you need to rest, put your knees down. That's a great job too. Okay, everybody come on back up. And I want you to take one foot and put it right there. And take your back leg and make it really, really tight. Good job. Okay, now I want you to take your foot all the way back again. And this time move up and go into your downward facing dog, which is everyone's favorite pose. Remember, push back on your hands. Maybe your feet touch the ground. Put your bum bum way, way up in the air. That's right, and stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, everybody, come on down. Come all the way down to the ground, boom. And take a deep breath in and exhale. And let's go up and let's go to Cobra. Stretch our backs a little bit. Not too much, just warming up. Okay, now curl your toes under and come back up to downward facing dog. That's it, take another deep breath in and push your bum bum way up to the sky. There you go. Now take your other leg and take that one forward. And let's stretch, stretch, stretch our back legs. Good job. Okay, you ready? And we're gonna come back, back to our plank. Good job. And we're gonna come forward and we're gonna go down again, go all the way down to the ground and lift yourself up and stretch a little bit. Ah, oh, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. Curl your toes under, go back up to your downward facing dog. Stretch it out and then step forward, step forward, bend your knees. Let's take another deep breath in and all the way up. Let's grab a little bit more sunshine here. A little bit more sunshine here. Let's rub it on our ears this time. And maybe we can rub it on our elbows. Maybe we'll rub it back here a little bit too. There you go. And all the way back down your legs. All the way down to your toes. If you can touch them. If you can't, that's fine too. And take a deep breath in and up and we are ready to begin okay now the first part of the water cycle is evaporation water's down low it's getting evaporated by the Sun so everyone start in mountain pose and imagine that your hands with your yoga hands are rays of sunshine and lift them up 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 slowly over your head and grab that sunshine take a deep breath in reach higher reach even higher and higher and let's blow our air out and share our sunshine with everyone let's do that again let's be great big rays of sunshine and we breathe in and we stretch, 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 big and tall, grab your sunshine and bring it down again and breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Here we are. The rays of sunshine are bringing the water vapor up to the sky. Reach, 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 and down we go. Now we're going to pretend to be the falling rain. So we're going to take our hip legs. We're going to stand a little bit apart in our star pose. Okay. Now we're going to take it and 
the rain is way up in the clouds, but it's got to fall, 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 wiggle your fingers, fall all the way to the ground. And there it is, but we're going to do it again. We have to stretch, 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 and up goes our hands, and we're doing the falling rain. Wiggle your fingers and hold your bum bum in. Hold it in. There you go. All the way to the ground. All right, one more time. Up, up, up. And the rain goes down, 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 down. Okay, one more. Up. And this time, we're going to be a cloud. So I'd want everyone to step back into warrior one. Get your feet a little bit farther apart. Make your hips go straight and bend down into the bend down into your front knee. Good job. Now everyone take a deep breath and let's turn and do warrior two. Arms straight out. Can you see me? Arms straight out. Level and strong. Okay, now here's the tricky part. We're gonna become floating clouds. So everyone take, and put all your pressure on this leg and lift the other leg up, 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 and balance and float like a cloud. It's okay if your leg goes down. Just do what you can. Balance, balance, balance. Good job. And then we'll go back to warrior two. Okay, let's try it again. We're going to do the other leg now. You ready? We're going to be a cloud. So let's get into our warrior one position. Our legs far apart. And then we're going to turn. We'll do it this way. To do our warrior two. Remember, this leg is really strong. Make it really tight. Keep your hands straight, straight, straight. And then we're gonna become a floating cloud. You ready? Lift up with your back leg. It's okay if it's not perfect. Oopsie, see, Mrs. Myers didn't do it well. And hold on and balance. Keep trying. There we go. Okay, back down to warrior two. Good job. Let's step back. Let's be our falling rain again. Down, 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 all the way down. And now, let's sit down on our bum bums, and we're going to be running water. So we sit with our feet straight up, and our backs very, very straight. You see me? See how straight my back is? Now, we're gonna pretend to be water rolling down the rivers and the lakes. So I'd like everyone to rock from side to side, very gently, just a nice little, nice little river we're going down right now. But then if we want, we can be faster water. Arms up and all the way over. And hold on and bend down, but keep your heart open. Bend over. Go a little faster. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's try that again. Sit up straight and tall, like someone's pulling your head from the very top. And let's breathe in. And let's bend all the way over. There you go. And let's go quickly, quickly down the river, down the stream, maybe all the way into the ocean. Good job, and if you can only touch to here, that's perfect. You don't have to go all the way down to your toes. I don't want everyone to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let's see if, how low you can get. One more time. Up we go, and down, down. Perfect. Okay. So now 
the water is going to collect in the in the streams and in the oceans. So I'd like everyone to turn around and come to child's pose. Everyone sit up on their knees and then put your bum bum back on your feet. Pull your arms way, way out in front. And here you're pretending to be the water collected back into the oceans for the whole process to start again. Good job, everyone, put your head down. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, should we do this one more time? Everyone stand up. We are going to be the sun again. We're just going to do it one more time. Put your yoga hands out and lift up. The water is evaporating from the sunshine all the way up to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's do this again. Hold your body strong and have the water come up, up, up to the sky. Excellent. Now take one foot back and we're going to become a cloud now, remember? So we go from warrior one all the way here. Let's turn sideways and do warrior two. Straight, straight, straight. Arms are straight, straight, straight. Okay, now everyone we're going to put all of our weight in the air and we're going to become a floating cloud. Here you go. Bend forward. Do what you can. Hold on. Excellent. Excellent. Now put your leg back down. Good job. Now let's be a cloud on the other side. So take other foot forward. Other leg back. And let's go into our warrior one straight strong body and then turn and go into warrior two and then we're going to become a floating cloud put all your weight here and lift your back leg up and do what you can I'm always better on one leg and lift 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 and hold 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 and come back down good job Water has collected in the clouds, and now it has to come down. Spread your legs out. Get in your star pose. Get your yoga hands and your yoga fingers wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. Then the rain comes down. And then it goes back up. And let's have the rain come down one more time. Good job. Great. Now everyone come and sit down. Put your feet straight, straight up. Now this rain has collected in the stream. So let's be a gentle little stream right now and just rock back and forth. And that gentle little stream goes into a river, which is a little bit faster. So maybe you want to rock a little faster on your bum bum and then it may go into the big ocean. So let's go down, down, down. Grab what we can. If you grab here, that's great. If you grab here, that's great. And let's go a little faster. Perfect. Okay, and we have arrived in the ocean. So let's go back on our hands and knees. Put ourselves in child's pose. Go back on your heels. Go back on your heels with your bum bum. Put your arms way out in front and take a little rest. There you go. Perfect. Great job. Now, I want everyone to come and lie down on their back. Straight down on your back. Put your hands down on the ground. I want you to shut your eyes. 
or if you're outside, do what I'm doing, which is stare at the beautiful sky. And Mrs. Myers is going to tell you a little story. And all I want you to do is relax and listen to the story. So shut your eyes, relax your hands, relax your bellies, relax your heads. And I'm gonna take the phone and I'm going to have it look at the beautiful sky. And you can watch the clouds above as they pass by and I tell you this beautiful story. Close your eyes and take a very deep breath. Keep breathing deeply and feel the cool air come in through your nose and flow all the way down your belly. Feel your belly rise and fall as you breathe in and out and in and out. Now, listen to all the sounds around you. You may hear outside noises. You may hear birds chirping. You may hear some cars. All I want you to do is listen. Can you hear your heart beating? Can you hear your breath as it goes in and out? Maybe your tummy's making some noises. Maybe you're just listening to the sound of your breath or the sound of your heartbeat. Just listen. Now imagine inside of you, there's a big, beautiful bucket. Everyone has a bucket. We just can't see it with our eyes. When we feel good, our bucket is full and when we feel bad, our bucket is low or even empty. Do you know that when you fill someone else's bucket with kindness, helpfulness, or even a smile, your own bucket gets filled up too? That's actually the way we fill our buckets when we share goodness and kindness and happy thoughts our buckets become full but sometimes when unkind words are spoken our buckets become a little emptier we all want our buckets to be full of love kindness peacefulness and happiness so every day Show your loving kindness to others and help fill up their buckets. In doing so, your own bucket gets filled to the top and will overflow with happiness. Be grateful for the good things and the people you have in your life and focus on that. Now, when you're ready, take a deep breath in and roll over to your side and come meet me in crisscross applesauce. Open your eyes, take a deep breath in, bring your hands all the way up and all the way down to your heart. And may today and every day be one of kindness and one of peacefulness. And we end our yoga practice by using the word that means the loving part of me is so very grateful for the loving part of you. And we all say, Namaste. Good job, everyone. So part of our yoga practice is also to do our mindful eating because we're out here and it's a beautiful day and the birds are singing and the sky is blue somebody's mowing the lawn over there but we're always grateful for the things that our earth provides so for your mindful eating this today perhaps you could take a vegetable or a piece of fruit 
And what we do is we open it carefully. And I'll open this orange or tangerine or clementine. And what I want you to do is share it with others. But I want you to appreciate it. Appreciate the smell of it. Appreciate the feel of it. Maybe you can appreciate the beautiful orange color of it. Look at how orange that is. Isn't that pretty? And it smells so very good. So when we do our mindful eating, I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to put it in little pieces so that you can do it too. And you can share it with your friends and your family. And what I do is I put it out and I offer it to you and you bow to me and bow to you and then we take one little piece and we take it and we smell it oh how does it smell to you to me it smells kind of sweet and let's take a little bite of it it's juicy and it's very liquidy kind of like what we did in yoga appreciating all the water and the sunshine that allow things like this little clementine to grow so that we can appreciate it and take little tiny bites and really appreciate all the gifts that we get from our earth so while you are Maybe going to get a little piece of fruit, maybe a little bite of a banana, or some vegetables. I'm going to read you this book called Over and Under the Pond. Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through the reeds. Isn't that pretty? Look at the water and the sunshine and the clouds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there, I ask? Under the pond, Mom says? Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes, whirligig beetles loop and twirl, skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass, while a brook trout lurks, ready to lunge right there. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three, they slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, splush under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Cuckalry, red winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. There she is, right here with a piece of grass in her mouth. Under the pond, a cuddle caddy, caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean up from the shore. We coast under low hanging branch. The moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. 
Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on the shore. There on a branch, a new goldfish teeters, finally ready to fly. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing all their growing legs. They're growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent, and still a great blue heron snares, stares down into the deep. It tenses. It takes a long-legged step and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped up to the sun, a woodpecker clings to a teetering pine digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. Over the pond, a sleeping dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle their quiet wings. Raccoons and mink stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish disappears in the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto the shore as a far off loon calls, good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk, to dark. Night settles over the pond, the prowling catfish and drowsy turtles. The crayfish and tadpoles turn frogs. Wading herons and stalking raccoons. And the hidden world under the So my friends, on April 22nd, which is Earth Day, please make sure that you enjoy all the gifts that Mother Earth has given you. And we hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.